Let's take you back to that breaking news from Quebec, where an 11-year-old boy has died of his injuries that happened during a hockey practice this week. Let's bring in Jay Turnbull, who's following the developments live from Montreal. Jay, I know the details are still coming in. What can you tell us about what happened so far? Well, I mean, this is, of course, every hockey parent's worst yeah. nightmare. This happened Tuesday evening. The boy was practicing with his team in St. Eustache, which is a community just across the river from Montreal, basically. Uh, emergency services were called to an arena at Complex, Walter Buswell. Uh, a spokesperson for the city says the boy was hit in the neck with a puck and was then rushed to hospital. Of course, as I mentioned, that was Tuesday evening. This afternoon, we learned the boy died in a Montreal hospital. Now, the police have told us they believe the incident was an unfortunate accident during practice. Uh, St. Eustache's mayor, uh, Pierre Charon, released a statement saying the incident has rattled the entire community, which you could imagine would be the case. He says, all the city's energy is focused on supporting the community and the families affected. Uh, now, the St. Eustache Minor Hockey Association as well issued a statement and it said, uh, quote, we would like to offer our deepest condolences to the family, friends and loved ones, and that all our thoughts are with the family, loved ones, teammates and the St. Eustache sporting community. So, of course, the, uh, the association says it is working with the city, uh, with Hockey Quebec and the Regional Health Board to offer uh, psychological support to anyone who needs it. And it has met already with parents uh, and the players after they the incident. Um, a lot we don't know yet, of course, is, as I mentioned, it was during a practice. 11-year-old uh, uh, player, so you imagine his teammates would be around the same age. Uh, was it a, a coach who fired the puck through, across the ice and perhaps hit, hit the, uh, the player in, in the neck? Was it another player? That we don't know yet. The coroner will be investigating this uh, as well. I mean, to step on the ice, I believe, all, all across Canada, certainly in Quebec, you can't get on the ice if you're a minor without a neck uh, guard. Uh, the problem is those neck guards are sort of designed more for uh, sticks and skate blades. Uh, yes, it will blunt the impact, I suppose, if you're hit with a, with a puck, uh, but it obviously cannot stop the force, the sheer force of a puck uh, when it's uh, fired at uh, several, sometimes close to perhaps 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, so the, the, the story is not that he went out there with, without being fully protected. The question perhaps is, was the protection enough? Wow, such a tragic and sad story. Uh, Jay Turnbull in Montreal, thank you for the latest. Mm -hmm.